Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Birdo Worry here. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, I had some um, uh, alarm goes off. Not the alarm, but, you know, the, um, the stuff that comes on your dashboard. And so that happened like yesterday as I was driving home. So today I had to go ahead and get some of those things taken care of. So that's why we are doing it this afternoon instead of this morning. I had an opportunity to do it, like, say, like, two hours uh, before, say about maybe like 9, 10 this morning. And I said, oh no, I'll be finished before um, before 11. And of course it didn't ever happen. But nevertheless, God is faithful. So did you take time, my sister, my brother, to study, study the word? Remember we must study. And we know it is late, we, it is late. We are running out of time on this earth. We are running out of time. And the solution is Jesus Christ. And he states, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. Okay, so let's go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I just thank you for this beautiful day, Father God. I ask you right now, Father God, that you will take full control. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, so scripture reading is coming from Revelation 12, verses 16. Revelation 12, verses 16, and it says, And the earth helped the woman... And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. Okay, so let's go into our topic today. And it's the church and state unites. The church and state unite. It says, as the Protestant churches rejected the clear scriptural arguments in defense of God's law, they will, they will long... To silence those whom fate they cannot overthrow by the Bible. Though they blind their own eyes to the facts, they are now adopting a course which will lead to the persecution of those who conscientiously, meaning diligently, refuse to do what the rest of the Christian world are doing and acknowledge the claims of the papal Sabbath. The dignitaries of the church and state will unite to bribe, persuade, or compel all classes to honor the Sunday, honor the Sunday. The lack of divine authority will be supplied by oppressive enactments. Political corruption is destroying love of justice and regards for truth. And even in free America, rulers and legislatures, meaning lawmakers, in order to secure public favor, will yield to popular demand for a law-enforcing Sunday observance. Liberty of conscience, which has caused so great a sacrifice, will no longer be respected. In the soon coming conflict, we shall see represent, represent or ex exemplified the prophet's words, the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keeps the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And that is coming from Revelation 12, verses 17. So my sister, my brother, this is the book that you need. I mean, everyone should get this book in their hands. It talks about what is about to happen. It talks about, you know, in the past and what is about to happen what is about to happen with God's children. And as you read the book, my sister and brother, because it's like, let me see one of the chapters. Like, let me go to a couple of the last chapter. This is the book. Right now we have um, one of my pastor, uh, Christopher Hudson. Uh, I believe he's meeting, I believe is in uh, Washington, and he is going to be passing out this book tomorrow, The Great Controversy. This is a book that everyone should uh, should be able to get their hands on, my sister and brother. It's information that we need for times like these, times like these. So here is some people might say, the impelling conflict. Okay, so liberty of conscience threatened, that's 35, and then the impending conflicts the scripture, a safeguard, the final warning, time of trouble, God's people delivered, desolation of the earth, and the controversy ends. So this is a lot of things that you need to know what's going to happen in the last days. Some people might say, hmm, what is really going on? My sister and brother, if you had this book, it will give you the 
it will point the way of what's really going on in these in these Americas and all around the world. This is the book, The Great Controversy. This is the book, and this is what we are covering right now. It's the same book, but it's just a um, it's just a couple of the the important parts that they took out of this and put it in the uh, darkness before dawn. So that is what I've been covering for the past couple of weeks. Okay, so on Monday we're going to go ahead and do a review of what we have covered thus far, the impending conflict. That is what we're going to do a review on Monday. So may I share with you my devotion? My devotion, let me get that. Hold on. Let me put this right here. So here is my devotion. And this it says, a message full of encouragement. A message full of encouragement. And it says, as many as I love are rebuked and chastened. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Revelation 3.19. Let me bow for prayer. Father God, I ask you, Father God, to take you, continue to take full control, Father God. I give you permission, Father God. I thank you. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay. It says, the, cons the counsel of the true witness does not represent those who are lukewarm as in a hopeless case. There is yet a chance to remedy their state, and the, and the Laodicean message is full of encouragement. Purity of heart, purity of motive, may yet characterize those who are half-hearted and who are striving to serve God and manum. They may yet wash their robes of character and make them white in the blood of the Lamb. The goal of faith and love, the white raiment of a spotless character, and the eye salve, or the power of clear discernment between good and evil, all these we must obtain before we can hope to enter the kingdom of God. Should I repeat that? It said the goal of faith and love, the white raiment of a spotless character, and the eye salve, or the power of clear discernment between good and evil, all these we must obtain before we can hope to enter the kingdom of God. But these precious treasures will not drop upon us without some exertion on our part. We must buy, we must be zealous and repent of our lukewarm state. We must be awakened to see our wrongs, to search for our sins, and to put them away from us. It is the worthlessness of Christ. Let me go back. It is the worthiness, I'm sorry, the worthiness of Christ that must save us. His blood that must cleanse us. But we have effort to make. We must do what we can. Be zealous and repent. Then believe that God accepts us. All heaven is interested in our salvation, and shall be, and shall we be indifferent? Shall we be careless, as though it was a small matter, whether we are saved or lost? Let me repeat that. Shall we be careless, as though it was a small matter? whether we are saved or lost. Shall we slight the sacrifice that has been made for us? In the time of perils, in the time of perils before us, the professed followers of Christ will be tested. None will be able to stand but those who have had a deep and living experience in the things of God. The work of all will then be tried. If it is gold, silver, and precious stones, they will be safely shielded as in the secret of the Lord's pavilions. And those who are willing to sacrifice all for the eternal life will have it, but, if, but it will be worth suffering for 
Let me, let me pray. Let me pray. Father God, I ask you, Father God, to just calm my mind and my spirit, Father God. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay. We have to get this part. We must get this part. It says, only those who are willing to sacrifice all for eternal life will have it. But it will be worth suffering for, worth crucifying self and sacrificing every idol for. The far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory will be outweighed every earthly treasure and eclipse every earthly treasure attractions should i put should i repeat that the far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory will be outweighed every earthly treasure and eclipse every earthly attraction so that concludes my devotion a message full of encouragement so be encouraged my sister my brother be in, be encouraged be encouraged this is not the time to Throw your hands up and say, ah, forget it, forget it. No, my sister and brother, pressed on, pressed on, pressed on. Okay, so it says, this is the hymn, the Lord is my light. Mm. The Lord is my light. Then why should I fear? By day and by night, his presence is near. He is my salvation from sorrow and sin. This blessed persuasion the Spirit brings in. And here's the chorus. The Lord is my light, my joy, and my song. By day and by night, he leads me along. The Lord is my light, my joy, and my song. By day and by night, he leads me along. Here is the second verse. The Lord is my light, though clouds may arise. Fate stronger than sight, look up to the skies. Where Jesus forever in glory does reign, then how can I ever in darkness remain? The Lord is my light, my joy, and my song. By day and by night, he leads me along. The Lord is my light, my joy, and my song. By day and night, he leads me along. The Lord is my light. The Lord is my strength. I know in his might I will conquer at length. My weakness in mercy he covers with power. And walking by faith he upholds me every hour. The Lord is my light, my joy, and my song. By faith. No, by day and by night, he leads me along. The Lord is my light, my joy, and my song. By day and by night, he leads me along. Here's the last verse. The Lord is my light, my all and in all. There is in his sight no darkness at all. He is my redeemer my savior and king with saints and with angels his praises i will sing the lord is my light my joy and my song by day and by night he leads me along the lord is my light my joy and my song by day and by night he leads me along my sister my brother we just have to hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, my sister, my brother. God will repay us. He will reward us. We just got to remain faithful until the end. So, my sister, my brother, it's a happy preparation day. It's almost over. In a few more hours will be the Sabbath. And you know that the Sabbath, according to Exodus 20, verses 8 through 11 talks about that's the fourth commandment it talks about the sabbath and the sabbath starts friday sundown all the way to saturday sundown it's a 24 hour cycle that that's the day that the lord asks us to serve him so when you hear that man say that no it is sunday there's no scripture to back that up there's no scripture to back that up okay and then you can also do the search and see who changed this sabbath from Saturday to Sunday, and will be clear to you 
that is the Roman Catholic Church that changed it. And they stated themselves, and you can go do your research. You can also go to uh, Sabbath Truth, sabbathtruth.com or sabbathtruth.org and then the, then the sabbath.org and you will be able to find a wealth of information there as well okay so my sister and brother thank you guys so much let us bow for prayer father god i just thank you i thank you i thank you i thank you father god i give you all the praise the honor and glory in jesus name amen and amen okay my, bro my brother my sister so if this was a blessing to you can you hit the like button uh make a comment can you hit the share button follow me over on youtube i'm the burdell warrior hit the subscribe button Hit the bell notification. You could also give me a thumbs up. And I know I was I usually say in the morning, make a comment on what you're doing or what Bible uh, scripture you study. And do you, if you need prayer, to put it there as well. But I know it is late. It is late. It is late. It is late. But nevertheless, I know uh, for me, what I was doing, I um, had an errand. And like I said, the light, my lights came on. Um, uh, my tires was low. And even though you put, um, you put the air in the tire, that was not working. So then I, um, then when I was also driving home yesterday, then the uh, maintenance light came on. So then I went to the, um, to the car, um, to the dealer, you know, no, the tire repair guys. And, um, no, no, they do other works as well. And so I went ahead and, and, and that's what I was doing. And I thought everything was done. So as I, I left there and within five more minutes, as I, then the light came back on. So I had to turn back around and go and, and ask them to, to recheck whatever it was that they, that they did. And, um, and so that's what I was doing most of the morning, I tell you. So my sister and brother, let us continue to remain faithful up to the end. And that was not my, my plan today to be out. But for whatever reason, God saw fit that I should be out. So nevertheless, so I'm just giving praise and honor and glory to God. Most of you guys know that I do a lot of traveling and I, to just get home. It's like, you know, to the main uh, city, it's like 50 miles. And that's one way. And then coming back is an, another 50 based on, you know, which direction I go. So with that, you know, you have to have everything working on your cars, working, working, working. So my sister and brother, I thank you guys for your time. I thank you for being so patient and be so loving and kind. So with that, my sister and brother, have a super awesome Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, I tell you. That's the best time of the day. That's the best day. It's the Sabbath. It's the Sabbath that I could spend time uh, with the Lord. I mean, we spend time with the Lord, but that's the day that he gave us to spend time with him, right? So my sister and brother, happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. I hope you guys are having a super Sabbath. Have a super Sabbath. It's, some, it's already Sabbath in some countries. So happy Sabbath already, my sister and brother. So my brother, sister, be blessed and take care and have a super awesome weekend until Monday as we go over and do our review of it, the impending conflicts. That is our review for Monday. Until then, be blessed and take care. Take care.